Bleach is more than just a powerful cleanser, it is also a powerful pesticide. It can get rid of various pests, including drain flies and mosquitoes. Here are the best ways to use bleach to get rid of common pests. 1. Ants Bleach can be effective against ants, but there is one major drawback. If you are using it to clean up an area, dry bleach will not kill the ants. What you need to do is pour or spray it directly on the ants themselves. When applied, this can work almost instantly. Bleach works by destroying an insect's waxy exoskeleton, interfering with their ability to breathe, and surrounding them in a chemically hypertonic high pH solution that disrupts the water balance in their bodies. In non-science terms, that essentially means that bleach kills insects by massively disrupting the environment their cells are used to dealing with. While bleach can kill ants and even repel them to an extent, it shouldn't be used frequently. On top of that, it's not the best go-to product. There are plenty of reasons to consider other alternatives, as bleach can discolor surfaces including hardwood floors, concrete, and countertops. It can also ruin clothes. It's harmful to plants, to the point where bleach can kill them. Bleach can kill non-target organisms such as soil bacteria and worms. Organisms that are beneficial to your lawn and garden. And finally it's not designed to kill ants in the first place. 2. Mice and rats. Bleach can be used to deter and get rid of rats and mice. You can mix bleach with anti-rat sprays for a DIY pest repellent. It's just as effective as rat repellent sprays sold in stores. The secret to the successful removal of rats with bleach goes into the preparation and deployment. Spray the area where you observe that rats come out in significant amounts. Allow the rats to escape by leaving that area open. Although the human sense of smell can endure the smell of bleach to some extent, it's best to dilute the bleach to allow you to remain in your house despite the strong odor. The pungent odor of bleach will deter rats, but if you want to entice them and poison them with bleach, mix a tablespoon of bleach with two tablespoons of peanut butter. Butter is appealing to rats, and it will mask the pungent odor of bleach. The rats die within a day or two due to the repercussions if they consume bleach. 3. Drain flies. If you've noticed teeny tiny flying insects taking over the drains in your kitchen or bathroom, it's probable that you are dealing with drain flies. They are typically about 1 8 inch long, black or brown, and have hairy bodies and one set of wings featuring a unique pattern of veins. If you happen to crush one, you will find their bodies leave behind a powder-like smudge. Unlike fruit flies that hang out around veggies and fruit, drain flies congregate in drains, septic tanks, and sewers, where they feed on grease, sewage, and other rotting organic materials. Although they are not harmful to humans, they are bothersome. Even worse, female drain flies can lay 30 to 100 eggs at one time, so things can spiral out of control quickly. One common remedy for killing drain flies is using household bleach. This is a very useful and cost-effective manner for getting rid of these little pests with an item you already have around the house. A cup of household bleach is generally more than sufficient to kill most drain flies, and all you need to do is pour it down the affected drain. The chemical is strong enough to kill the larvae, and the rest of the adult flies should die off within a few hours to a day or so. Always be very careful when handling bleach, and wear protective gloves to avoid skin burns in case of spills. Bleach is not recommended if you have a septic system. The bacterial environment of your septic tank is very fragile. If you use too much bleach, you could kill the microbes living in your tank. Instead, opt for something a little gentler. 4. Cockroaches Although bleach may harm cockroaches, the injury won't last very long. In actuality, bleach is one of the least effective methods against cockroaches. Roaches will die if they are drowned in bleach, However you would need to get every single roach in your home, one by one, and dip them in the bleach to get the job done. That is unappealing to just about everyone in the world and is also not worth the effort. Taking a deep drink of household bleach would kill anything, roaches included. 
but the same strong odor that keeps people from taking a swig of bleach repels roaches as well. So though it could work, in reality, it will not. It is very difficult to kill an entire roach infestation yourself. If you don't get them all, they will reproduce. If you don't seal up every single point of entry, they will keep coming in. However bleach can be a useful tool for keeping roaches from visiting in the future. It is an effective and common cleaning agent in many homes, and the pungent aroma of the chlorine it contains is familiar to just about anyone. Turns out, roaches can't stand the overwhelming smell, either. So using bleach to thoroughly clean areas after roaches have been eradicated will definitely help deter a return. 5. Mosquito Lava Bleach does kill the lava, unfortunately, it is not the safest method to rid your home of the mosquito lava. Pouring the chlorine bleach directly into standing water such as pools to kill mosquito lava will work. However, chlorine bleach is toxic and can harm any wildlife that drinks from the water. You may want to choose a less toxic alternative to killing mosquito lava. Never add bleach to pets drinking water or to bird baths. 6. Insect and bugs. Bleach not only keeps bugs away, but also kills them. The answer lies in the composition of bleach. Bleach contains sodium hypochlorite that chokes bugs to death. Many bugs breathe through their exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is an external covering on the bug's body that helps them breathe and protect their insides. When you use bleach on bugs, it leaves its residue on the exoskeleton of the bugs. With time, that residue inhibits the ability of the bugs to breathe. It also breaks the bug's exoskeleton, penetrates the bug's body, and dissolves the waxy coating underneath the exoskeleton. And the end result is dead bugs. Also, bleach gives off a pungent smell that keeps the bugs away. Many bugs like bed bugs, cockroaches, ants, and spiders hate the smell of bleach. The smell of bleach also keeps rodents and mice away. You can use bleach either to kill bugs or to keep the bugs away. The best way you can use bleach is by mixing it with water and spraying it on places where bugs can hide. To kill bugs, you need to apply the mixture of bleach and water directly to the bugs. If you don't, bugs will avoid the places where there's bleach, and they'll hide somewhere else in your home. But there is a hidden problem with this. Bleach isn't an instant bug killer. It kills the bugs slowly. It's because bleach takes time to penetrate the exoskeleton of the bugs that causes the bugs to die. Also it's not a good idea to repeatedly use bleach in your home and yard. Because bleach isn't safe for you, and repeated exposure to bleach can make you seriously sick. It's also toxic to pets. Children are at a greater risk of developing severe asthma when exposed to bleach. Not only kids, but also adults too can get asthma when exposed to bleach. If you're an asthmatic patient in your home, never use bleach because it can trigger an asthmatic attack. Bleach causes severe irritation in the skin and eyes. Bleach can also cause irreversible eye damage if it gets into your eyes. That's why always wear gloves and a mask while you're using bleach to kill bugs. Bleach is highly corrosive because bleach is an oxidizer that has chlorine. It destroys hard surfaces like your floor, tiles, granite countertops, and furniture. Using bleach on plant soil beds and your garden will also damage the soil and can kill the plants. So, refrain from using bleach repeatedly for pest control. If you want to use bleach, then use it occasionally and in places that are outside your home or you don't frequent often. Your yard and basement are examples of places where you can occasionally use bleach. Again, always wear gloves, mask, and glasses to protect your skin and eyes from exposure to bleach. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on 7 Effective Ways to Kill Pests with Baking Soda and Vinegar. Thanks for watching and bye for now.